Hey everybody, hope you're good. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Abby, and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I will be reviewing the Garnier Ambre Solaire Over Makeup Super UV Protection Mist with Hyaluronic Acid. So, this is what it looks like, and it is a 75 ml um aerosol spray so you've probably seen this at your local supermarket drugstore everywhere basically it's very affordable very accessible um i think i got this on amazon for like 5.99 something like that on offer um so yeah it's very affordable now i know there's definitely controversy in terms of using sunscreen sprays um as your like your overall protection if for me i literally i bought this so i could actually have another means of um applying another layer of sunscreen on my face especially for days when i've already put my makeup on um i've never really truly played with the whole idea of applying like a proper like sunscreen cream on top of my makeup i just don't believe that would work in any way shape or form and i don't have the patience or the time or the inclination to even try to do that like if i was at the office or if i was out and about at a party like who's doing that no so the easiest way for me to reapply my sunscreen over makeup on days when i'm obviously wearing makeup like here is to use a spray like this i guess or a powder i do know there are powders out there um and any other means i suppose that you can think of usually powders and sprays are what i think i can feasibly apply on my makeup when i've got makeup on and i want to top up on my sun protection so i got this because it's literally the most affordable i guess more value most value for money in terms of sunscreen sprays that i've seen I like the fact that it's an SPF 50 factor sunscreen. It does have both UVA and UVB protection and it actually has long UVA protection as well. So it's supposedly high protection. I didn't see this long UVA protection before. Um, what caught my eye was the fact that it's a sunscreen um, mist and it says it contains hyaluronic acid and the fact that it's an SPF 50. But I didn't even see the claim about the long UVA protection, which is good. It's like an added benefit. Um, it says it's suitable for under and over makeup application so it says you're just supposed to shake well and just you know I, I suppose spray it on your face but this is the thing that I say is controversial about sunscreen sprays like this because um, I've seen quite a few videos and a lot of the dermatologists that talk about this sunscreen or not this sunscreen but this type of sunscreen say that you're not supposed to kind of spray it on your face they do advise that you spray it on your hands and then pat on your face or spray on a puff and then use that on your face maybe um I've in my demo you see me using this on top of um another sunscreen I already had I think and I just sprayed it on my face because that's really all I plan to use this for. I don't plan to use this as a base. I don't believe it would offer me enough protection as a base sunscreen. Um, it does say it's hypoallergenic and that it's non-greasy and it's formulated to protect all skin tones. It doesn't have a white cast. On the back it says formula conforms 100% to European recommendations for protection against the harmful effects of UVA and UVB rays. It has a three star UVA rating, which is good. Um, it's the minimum you want, which I think comes from the fact that it's, it's a, um, uh, an aerosol spray. If it was a cream, I think you'll probably get a higher UVA rating. Or it might be just down to the formulation, I don't know. But I think most likely it would be because of the actual type of um, the form that it's in. Um, it says it was developed for sensitive for the sensitive face area and enriched with hyaluronic acid. Super UV protection mist has a fresh ultra light texture that gives an invisible finish on skin. This hydrating, non-greasy formula can be applied under or over makeup. It's non-comedogenic and suitable for daily use. So again, it says you should shake well before use. Close your eyes and pinch your lips together during application. Spray generously and evenly on the whole face in a horizontal motion. So you're actually supposed to spray like this with your eyes closed. And um at a minimum of 50 or 15 centimeters distance 
and it just says to make sure you reapply and to make sure that you wipe away any that you know go into your go into your lips so you don't end up eating it of course this probably wouldn't be suitable for kids because you know gases being sprayed everywhere they'll probably inhale it and a good thing and another thing as well with uh, an aerosol spray is if you have sprayed it on your face that way you definitely want to walk away from that space make sure it's ventilated as well and um you know just let the air settle basically walk away go by the window or something do your thing or a room go to another room where you're not getting dressed because for me um i'd go and do this in the bathroom and then go back to the room where i'm getting dressed and get on with the rest of you know my you know my day basically i wouldn't spray this in the same space and then just sit there and inha inhale the rest of the red of the remnants um yeah so that's just another thing to take into consideration so with this i would recommend it as a way to, as a means to just add that extra bit of protection it's not going to offer you the you know the most amount of protection so you definitely want to apply a proper sunscreen under and then maybe top up with this especially on days when you have makeup that's how i would use it um if you have a puff maybe spray it on a puff and pat it that way that way you get more protection than spraying it on your face because some of it will get lost into the air so other precautions to obviously take is to just make sure you avoid in the sun especially at high peaks of the day which is typically between 10 and 2 11 and 3 thereabouts uh, make sure you're wearing protective clothing, wear a hat if you can, sunglasses to protect your eyes. So many things that we should be doing rather than depending on just the sunscreen um, for protection against the sun, especially on a hot day or in a in a hot climate, generally speaking. So um, yeah, there's a lot more that we can do apart from just relying solely on sunscreen if you can, if you can. And this is just another good way to top up on my protection. Um, in terms of the actual filters, I do see homosalate, um, octocrylene, and ethyl hexyl salicylate. Um, those are the three that I definitely recognize. Um, there are others as well. There's avobenzone, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, there's avobenzone in here. So it does contain like four, four different sunscreens that I know are um, great across the UV and UVB spectrum. Um, yeah, and of course it contains hyaluronic acid, which is great for kind of keeping that moisture in your skin and hydrating your skin as well. So it's a good one to definitely have in your bag as a like a top up. So if you want to check out other sunscreens that I've tried, please do check out my playlist. They'll tell you about all the affordable sunscreens I've tried to date. Um, a lot of them are very affordable from the drugstore or online. And yeah, so knock yourself out. Please do leave a like comment down below let me know what you think have you tried this and subscribe if you want to see more from me and hit that bell while you're subscribing so you don't miss when i next upload so until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will catch you in my next video bye